Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today I am going to be making over this hutch for my mom and it's going to go in her dining room. So this is a hutch she already owned and she's owned it for, gosh, I wanna say over 15 years probably, maybe even longer, but she just doesn't like the color of it anymore. So I am going to be giving it a little facelift and then putting it back in her dining room. So to start out, I am going to be spraying this down with some shellac primer. And as you can see her, I kind of got ahead of myself. I forgot to unscrew the doors from this so make sure that all of the hardware is off before you do this but this will really help the paint stick really well especially to any wood surfaces I am going to be leaving some of the wood and staining it a different color but as for the doors I wanted them to be a different color so I will be painting the doors For the back of this, I'm just using some white chalk paint. I really wanted to do a two-tone on this hutch, so the back will be white, and then the rest of the hutch will be a beige color. All right, so the original color that I picked for this, I actually had a can of tan paint and I liked the color. I thought it was going to go on really well and it looked very yellow on the hutch. I don't know what was going on there. So I added a little bit of some gray chalk paint that I already had, mix it up and I love the color it turned out. It's the exact color I wanted, a little bit of gray with tan to make that perfect beige color, but I will have a color linked below that matches this color perfectly. If you like this color and you don't wanna be mixing paint colors, cause I would not recommend that, um, I will have the color that looks the most like this color linked in the description box below.
Okay, so I didn't show the base before. We only moved the top of the hutch because this bottom was still full of dishes. So we needed to take another trip down to my mom's and get the base of the hutch. I will be doing basically the same thing I did to the top. I'm going to be painting this all beige, but I am going to be staining the top of this, a color that will match my mom's house. I wanted to keep the hardware original, so I'm just going to be spray painting them black. One thing I didn't show is in between coats, I only did two coats total, but I sanded it down because after spray painting it with a shellac and then doing one coat of paint, the paint will typically feel pretty rough. So I'm using a sanding block and I'm just doing it very lightly over the top, making it really smooth and then painting over that with my second coat. Here you can see I'm just sanding this down to get all of the original stain color off and then I'll be coating this with a dark walnut stain. To finish this off, I'm going to be using some polycrylic in the clear satin, and I did a total of four coats of this to give it a really smooth finish. I'm using the same top coat to spray the entire hutch, but again, I'm going to be using a spray version for the rest of this. All right, now we're at my mom's and I'm going to be staging everything and just putting some decorations on here. This way scale was actually from Amazon. I will have everything linked in the description box if it's something you can either order or if it's at a store like Hobby Lobby or Michael's. Some of these things are from a store called Real Deals, which is a local store to me. I don't know how common those are around other places, but again, check the description box below if you have any questions as to where things are from.
My mom grew up on a milk dairy farm, so that's actually where these little milk jug bottles are from. And the chick chicken sign is also something I made for her. I tried to make an exact replica, which was in the basement of my grandpa's gas station. So anyway, I thought those would be really cute to stage on this hutch. Okay guys, well that's everything for this video. I hope that this gave you some inspiration in some way. And if you haven't yet hit that red subscribe button, make sure you do that and we will see you guys in the next video.